Hello everyone, my name is Joy and today I will be talking about the abominable snowman of the bee world. Despite their speedy flight, white fur and big jaws, these little builders are not to be feared. They can sting, but their sting is less painful than a honeybee's and they aren't likely to attack you, as they aren't very territorial. Leafcutter bees are actually very important pollinators, not only to wildflowers, but also to fruits and vegetables. So much so, they are sometimes used by commercial growers to pollinate crops, and have even been discovered to be more efficient in pollinating alfalfa than the more often used honeybees. The use of solitary bees, like the leafcutter, for pollination purposes doesn't require the cruel practices of queen insemination, wing clipping, and the gassing or otherwise killing after the season ends, which is what usually happens in the honey industry and the use of honeybees for pollination. The use of leafcutter bees for this purpose requires minimal invasion on their natural behavior and is more environmentally friendly, especially in places where the honeybee is a non-native species. As the name suggests, leafcutter bees may cut some holes in plants because they use the material to close off their nests. Much like the mason bees, the leafcutter finds a hole where she sections off small chambers in which she leaves her eggs one by one, providing them with food and shelter until in spring the temperature triggers the bees to hatch from their cocoon. You may spot these bees diligently carving a remarkably neat circle in your plants. This is not damaging to the plants, but if you want to keep your prized flowers hole free, then I suggest you gift your neighbors a bee hotel, as they are only likely to cut holes in leaves where they are nesting. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you might like the rest of the series that is up on my channel. I will leave a link to that down in the description. If you have any feedback or suggestions for next episodes, then please feel free to let me know in the comment section. I really appreciate any feedback. I will be talking more about different species of bees, but there's a topic that caught my eye and seems quite urgent to cover. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I will leave my links and sources down in the description as usual, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!